Charging by conduction. Now, conduction in the electrical sense means to allow the flow of electrons. Basically, we allow this flow by either touching two things together or attaching a wire between. Basically, the same idea. It gives the electrons a path for traveling between the objects. So, to charge by conduction, we start with one charged object and we use it to charge another object, usually a neutral object, by allowing electrons to flow between them. So, for example, if we start with a negatively charged object and we touch a neutral object, some of the electrons in the negatively charged object, which are trying to get away from each other, remember, they're all repelling each other. So, if you touch them, they find a way to jump to a more friendly environment, that is, the neutral object. So, they're trying to get away each other and they find some new territory. Once the objects touch, the electrons rush into the neutral object along the path that you provided. With a bunch of electrons transferring over, the extra electrons spread themselves out between both objects, continuing to repel each other. Once this happens and the objects are separated, they're both negative. Not as negative as the original object, as now those extra electrons are spread between the two objects, but nevertheless, they're both now carrying a net negative charge. You've charged a neutral object using conduction. In the same way, if you had started with a positively charged object, that is, an object lacking electrons, the flow would just be the other way. The positively charged object would attract any electrons that were available to it. By touching the neutral object, the pathway is established, and a bunch of the electrons from the neutral object are attracted into the positively charged object. They travel to this newly available attractive environment. Once the electrons are all spread out, they leave a lack of electrons in both objects. And once separated, both objects are now positively charged. Again, neither object has a positive charge as strong as the original charge, as the lack of electrons is now spread between both of them. Now, you might be thinking that, well, if charging by conduction means that the items touch, then isn't that pretty much the same thing as charging by friction? It's a good question, but note that when we're charging by friction, there's rubbing involved, and that assists with the movement of electrons. In charging by conduction, the electrons are already ready to go due to the electrostatic forces. They don't require any rubbing. They just need a path to get from one item to the other. This path is the key to charging by conduction.